Last night, I had a really strange dream. I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. There was no money left since I had already bought so many things. So then a policeman came and This chatterbox won't stop talking. I don't even know what she's talking about. All the buttons in the store. And of course, how am I supposed to sew with this tight thimble and prickly needle? I hope we're heading home soon. It's almost tea time. Alfred, huh? are you listening to me? I said, which one shall I buy, the blue or the green? I can't help you there. Sorry to tell you this, but you're very inconsiderate. The breeze is picking up. That cute little jacket I bought sure would come in handy now. Excuse me, Miss Giraffe. Would you like to dance with me? To dance? Hmm. Oh, no way. No, I don't dance. <laughs> Oh, don't cry. I'm sure you'll find someone to dance with you. Nobody will dance with me because I'm all alone. And when the wind blows, I'd like to dance with another flower. Today's your lucky day, little Miss Flower. I'm going to go get my friends now, and we'll come right back to help you. Really? Thank you so much. You're a nice giraffe. Well, yes, nice and elegant. I'll be right back. How's it going? Please, everyone, come here. This is really important. I've got to tell you something super important that just happened to me. I just forgot. Wow, I can't remember. Uh, let me think. I was with Alfred, telling him about my dream, and... Uh, oh, I've got it! I'll tell you about my dream. Well, I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. <laughs> Forgive me for interrupting you, Rita, but what are you talking about? My dream? What's the matter? You want to hear it again? No, no, please don't. Once was more than enough for me. I thought you were going to help the poor flower that you met. Oh, yeah, the flower. I totally forgot about her. Olga, we've got to help move that flower to a new spot. Let's go and see that flower. Hello, Miss Flower. What's the matter? Nobody dances with me because I'm all alone. And when it gets windy, I just wish I could dance with somebody next to me. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. We are going to replant you right next to the other flowers so you can dance with them whenever you like. Thank you so much. You are all so nice. That's very easy. You just cut the flower and put it next to the others. No, 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 no. You can't do that. If you cut me, I would die in less than a day. You have to take me out of here by digging a hole in the ground right below me so that you don't cut my roots. Don't you worry, Miss Flower. I've been gardening for a long time, and I know just how to do it. Olga, pass me a shovel, please. I don't know where it is. I think we left it near the swings. Rita, could you do me a favor and go get the shovel? Yeah, right, since I've got nothing better to do. Please, go on, Rita. It'll just take a moment. We'll stay here and keep Miss Flower company. All right, I'll go. <laughs> Let's see, now where do I find the shovel? Let me think. I believe it's under the slide. No, it's not under here. Maybe it's by the swings. Not here either. What bad luck. Uh, maybe, oh I know, it must be in the sandbox. Yay, I finally found it. I found it. It was right where I thought it would be. Okay, now I'm going to replant her. Hey, no way. I want to do it all by myself. She's my friend. But Rita, it's very complicated. If you do it wrong, the flower will die. Hmm. I don't want to discuss it with you. Either I do it, or the flower stays here forever. Milo, don't worry. I'm sure Rita will do the best she can. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. All right, as you wish. 
Rita, be very careful. You need to dig a hole just below the flower, but leave a little bit of space so that you don't cut the roots. Don't worry, this is easy as pie. Very easy. Slowly, slowly. I don't even want to look. Like that, well done. I've got it. See how easy? Very good. Now you have to put her with the other flowers. Very carefully, Rita. Thank you so much, my friends. Now I'm the happiest flower in the garden. And now let's all dance. Moo Moo, Talalo, come quick. We're all going to dance together. Pass it to me. Now to uh. me. Now back uh. to me. What's this? Is anyone going to pass it to me or what? Pass it to me already. Uh. 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 Oh. Uh. Wow! Talalo, that shot was incredible! Now we have to go look for it. Come with me. You can see a lot better from the sky. How did you get to be so strong, Talalo? Look at how many apple trees there are. And they're all full of apples. It's incredible. You're right. Talalo, next time you need to kick it softer. Look at the ball. It's right under the apple tree. Let's go get it. That's what you get for kicking the ball so hard. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Where's that laughter coming from? <laughs> huh? I haven't laughed so much in a long time. <laughs> it was pretty funny, wasn't it? <whistles> Mr. Apple Tree, why are you so far away from the other apple trees? Well, you see, I was born in this place. And it never bothered me to be a bit farther away from my brothers. This way I can grow bigger and be more comfortable. But this year it hasn't rained very much and I haven't gotten any water. My brothers have been able to grow many apples, but I haven't been able to grow a single one. As you know, what we apple trees like to do most is grow apples so that everyone can taste how good they are. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do to help you? Not unless you can make it rain and make the wind take all these dead leaves away. Anyway, I hope that one day you can taste my apples. We've got to go now, Mr. Apple Tree. But don't you worry. We'll try and help you real soon. My friends, we need to help Mr. Apple Tree. The poor guy has no water and hasn't been able to produce any apples. Um, what can we do to help? What a great idea, Talalo. We'll make Mr. Apple Tree as good as new. It's raining. I can't believe it. Water! Lots of water! This is totally awesome! It's you! Thank you so much for doing this! Mr. Tree, he's got flowers growing out of his head. That's strange, isn't it? 
Moo Moo, those flowers grow out of all the apple trees, and they will all turn into apples in just a few days. Good morning, Mr. Apple Tree. You sure have a lot of flowers now. All those flowers are so pretty. Thank you, my friends. When my apples are ripe, you can eat as many as you like. That's great. I want a basket full just for me. We'll check back soon to see how many apples there are. See you tomorrow. It's amazing how many apples there are. Hurry, hurry. Come here, everyone. You are not going to believe this. It's incredible. I see hundreds and hundreds of apples. It's awesome how many there are. Are all of you ready? Are we ready for what? Look how many I have. I have even more. Thank you, Mr. Apple Tree, for so much fruit. They are all for you, for having been so kind. See you later. That was a lot of fun. We should go to the forest and look for trees, and if we see that they're dry, we'll give them lots of water. Yes, it's wonderful. Look how many apples Mr. Apple Tree has given us. Everyone, look at me. I'm a tree with flowers on my head. And these apples are so good. Um, when I grow up, I've decided I want to be a very famous cook and prepare the best dishes in the world. But Rita, the last time you cooked a simple fried egg, you almost burned the whole kitchen. Ah. Huh. <laughs> what does that have to do with knowing how to cook? The thing with the fried egg was an accident, nothing more. Anyway, I've also decided that to be the best cook in the world, I'll go to the best culinary school in the country. Whatever you say, Rita. While you become the best chef in the world, I'm going to become a soprano. A what? A soprano is a person who sings opera. But, Momo, you don't even know what opera is. Who says I don't? Now I'll show you how well I can sing. <clears throat> oh, sole mio. Oh, sole oh. mio. Oh. What was that horrendous noise? It sounded like a cry for help. Moo Moo, I must confess something to you. At first I thought you were awful, but after a while when I could no longer hear anything, it sounded really nice. You have a bright future in singing. Thank you, Rita. I know as a singer I'll become a superstar. Moo Moo. <laughs> Rita, did you hear that dreadful noise? I didn't hear anything. And you, Rita, did you hear something? Rita? Can't you hear me? Did you hear that noise? Moo Moo, what's wrong with Rita? I don't know. Rita, can you hear me? Hey there, Olga, how's it going? Why are you talking so low? I can't hear you, you'll have to speak a little louder. It looks like Rita has gone a little deaf. Could it be from that noise we heard? Well, I didn't hear a thing. I was singing opera with Rita, and I didn't hear a sound. What's that? Opera? Were you the one who was making that noise? What do you mean a noise? I was singing a song in E minor, very sharp. Mumu, please don't sing again in front of me. I'm begging you. I see you don't appreciate my talent. I'm going to rehearse far away from here. Olga, when I grow up, I'm going to be a fantastic cook. Very good, Rita. But you don't have to shout, I'm not deaf. Hi, friends. What you doing? Well, Moo Moo and I were deciding on our future careers. I'm going to be a chef, and Moo Moo's going to be an opera singer. And you, Milo? What do you want to be when you grow up? 
Well, I've always wanted to be a doctor. I'll travel the world taking care of people who are sick. Well, you can start with Rita, oh? who has gone deaf thanks to <laughs> Moomoo's vocal cords. <laughs> now I hear just fine, now that Moomoo is singing somewhere else. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a detective. I like to investigate everything that goes on in the valley. Detective? Hmm, what a great idea. You can investigate why Moomoo sings so badly, right? <laughs> I don't think there's any solving that crime. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't like my sweet voice. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. I'm going to rehearse a lot, and this afternoon I'm going to give them a concert that they'll never forget. Pew, 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 pew. Talala, you gotta slow down. I can't understand you. A concert? Moomoo? Tonight? Oh, that tonight Moomoo wants to sing a concert of opera. But that's awful. I couldn't take it, not even for a minute. It's no big deal. She's not that bad. And after a few seconds, we'll become deaf anyway. There's gotta be a way for us to get out of this concert. Hi, friends. What are you all doing? Alfred, you've got to help us. Moomoo has decided that she wants to become an opera singer. And tonight she wants to give a concert for all of us. But the poor thing does it so badly that we won't be able to take it. Well, this dilemma appears to have a simple solution. We'll cover Moomoo's mouth so she can't sing. Alfred, how are we going to cover her mouth? Moomoo's our friend, and if she wants to sing, we have to let her do it. What a great idea, Talalo. That's what we'll do. Hi, Moomoo. What's up? I've got a surprise that I've prepared for all of you. Ooh. I'm going to perform a concert of opera right now. Oh, how nice, a concert. All right, Moomoo, I'm sure you'll do a great job. Yeah, a great job. But you'd better not run away or anything. Of course not, Moomoo. We're your friends, and we'll stay until the end. Are you ready? Oh, sol, mi, oh, oh, sol, mi, oh. 